This is a HeadGum Original. Thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring this episode of our show. Ho ho ho, gentlemen. The holidays came early here at Manscaped, the leading men's hygiene brand. Manscaped just launched new products including their all new ultra premium body wash and a two in one shampoo and conditioner. It's time to give yourself or someone who needs it the, the gift of beautiful skin, hair, and balls this holiday season. Go to manscaped.com and use code what's that for 20% off plus free shipping. Jingle balls to the walls, fellas. Listen up. Untrimmed pubes are a thing of the past, and it's possible you have Santa's beard in your pants. It's time to leave your significant other some cookies and milk at the bottom of your chimney. I'm talking. That's horrible. I'm talking about the Manscaped Performance Package 4.0. Before I started using Manscaped, I used to slice and dice my package. But now, I use the Performance Package 4.0 from Manscaped, where it's literally impossible to cut your balls thanks to their skin safe technology. Inside the Performance Package 4.0, You'll find the signature lawnmower 4.0. This electric trimmer has proprietary skin safe technology to reduce cuts on your nuts. It's also waterproof, so you can use it in the shower. And it's like a gift to your partner with less mess. This hygiene bundle also comes with a pair of manscaped anti chafing boxers that'll keep your junk feeling fresh all day. The perfect package for your perfect package. They also just launched their two-in-one shampoo and conditioner, which has key ingredients with benefits that include hydrating, nourishing, conditioning the scalp, and strengthening your hair at the same time. Tis the season to load up on Manscaped products, so get yourself, your dad, your brother, and friends the best gift of all. The Manscaped Performance Pack, it's 4.0. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code, what's that? At manscaped.com. Get 20% off again and free shipping with the code, what's that? At manscaped.com. That's 20% off free shipping at manscaped.com with the code, what's that? Clean up your nuts and make Santa proud this year. <laughs> Was it belated? Was the show belated? What? Was the show you passed on belated? Belated? The the theme song was happening. You can't already like come in hot and angry during the opening number. Like that should be the biggest, highest energy, positive moment. And you were yelling at Billy during it. No, because you know what? We get on the Zoom and Billy's like, oh, I have to pass on an audition, which you shouldn't do, by the way. Because all work is <laughs> You work. can, by the way. And don't you tell can, me no, yeah. because that is what happened. You That's just, what happened. You can do it. I'm not saying it's encouraged. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You can this do, is but insane. Don't tell me no. I said, don't yell during a theme song. You said, no, because. <laughs> <laughs> so the no part meant nothing. Bang! I want a bomberoo right out of the gates. Hit me, Johnny. All right. I mean, it just came out of nowhere. That kind of... You were already bringing the show down. It seemed like you and Amir were already in a little tizzy, and I felt a little awkward about it. It's not a tizzy. It's just t- conversation. Conversation can be tense and still be there. I mean, you're not wrong, but this is a comedy podcast. You should probably probably be... A little bit Billy, nicer. Did little you pass energetic. on Untitled Legal Project? Oh, no, I didn't pass on Untitled. That, did you read for Untitled Legal Project? Yeah, recently? well, it was more of a deposition uh, than an audition. Right. Um, what did no, you do? I, you had jury duty and you didn't show up or something? 
Yeah. I yeah, I had jury duty and I didn't show because uh, And it's called passing on untitled legal project. That's a little <laughs> Hollywood joke for you guys. That's a classic zinger you can tell at a West Hollywood eatery like uh a sweet greens or a tender greens or an era Juan, like a classic LA style patisserie deli catessin restaurant style cafeteria. Any of these greens. Yeah, yes, none of those are green. any of the things you just said. They're not delis or bakeries. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can call me daddy. Billy, you just cut your hair. Yeah, I did. And we do these over video now. I don't know if you know that, but... Uh, I did know. You didn't warn me of that, but I, I did know that. <laughs> okay. You should have told me that, but I did know that that was going to happen. <laughs> You're saying as a producer, you know... Yeah, as a producer, as a, as a friend, know. yeah, just yeah. let me know, hey, we're going to be recording this as a video. But yeah. I, I, was, I was aware of that. Major, Major key alert. alert. Catch people off guard to find them at their worst. <laughs> You're terrible. <laughs> so you didn't awful. learn your lesson. You learned the opposite lesson. That's worse than not learning a lesson. <laughs> you messed up and then you doubled down to turn it into a life hack. That was easy. Um, Johnny, <laughs> last week's it. episode was a hit. Booba yeah. cheeky of it all. The, num- the comments don't lie. Yeah. They're, they're commending me, which is great. It feels good. They're Camilla commending you. Or it should, Resin- it should have been Sean Commendez. Camilla it's, commending the relationship because they are Splitsville. I don't know. Did you yeah, know they, that? Did you cover Splitsville. That? <laughs> they broke up. Do you think wow. they decided to call it Splitsville at Squaresville? Probably too not. niche. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean it's too niche? It's a vintage store on Vermont. Yeah. Now that yes. is really yeah. niche. Yeah. A single store. It's, yeah, it's a vintage store in Vermont that you recommended me go to, and it was closed twice when I went. So. <laughs> they had two separate COVID outbreaks. Yeah, um, that's true. So I don't know I why did, you did recommend it. I did apologize to them for bringing it there, but mm. I got a shirt that was for the 1996 Atlanta Olympics. So who's really laughing now? Nobody. Yeah, no one's laughing. It's a losing game for everybody. I'm just reading about last week's last week's episode. Headgum's newest hire, Gianna, joins Johnny, Marika, and Jeff to discuss rice wine. That's I the... spelled that wrong, actually. It was supposed to be rice wine. So it was basically like, you feed a sow a ton of pumpernickel. Okay. What is this? <laughs> This is an ambush. Us. You know what you just said, right? What did you imagine to happen when you made the rye swine? Feeding a sow pumpernickel. You wanted the fucking standing ovation? You have to play the audio clip then. I was excited about it. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Billy, what's new in the life and times of Brick? Uh, not much. I bowled uh, my best game yesterday. Ooh, two hundred? Not even close. <laughs> Seventy? But, yeah. No, one one fifty one. It was my That's best game of like an. It was okay. I kind of blew it at the end, but I, I got off to a really hot start. And then um, I don't know. I'm going back to Canada soon. Why? Going to see a movie tonight. Um, I'm. I don't know. I don't. I'm not loving it in Los Angeles, and. Mm. Uh, I'm going to be there just for the holidays and then figure out where I'm going to go after that. So oh, this, LA was so, semi-permanent. It wasn't like a, a, you weren't moving here for real, for good. No, this was me like just testing it out kind of um, for a oh, few months and then maybe longer term, depending on, you know. Well, thanks for giving us confidential information. So we had to fucking edit that out. Cause that's yeah. like, Are you going to cut your hair soon, Jeff? No, I don't think Let's so. Let's see it. Oh, oh, oh my God. Holy shit. It's so long and you have no end in sight. Um, we're doing these as a video podcast. So you're like playing it up for audio, but most people are going to be watching it and it's not that long. 
It's pretty long. Oh actually. my god, it's flowing in the Whoa. wind. The sun <laughs> is setting and kind of just clipping it perfectly, a rim light from behind you. Yeah. You have Fabio style length and girth. Girth, yeah. So the plan is to just keep it going down past your shoulders. TBD. Uh I think so. There'll probably come a day where I'm sick of it because it is kind of a lot of maintenance, but I like being able to like do things with it. Um, like what? And women love it, Billy. Do they? Yeah. They like running their little dirty little grabbers through it. Gross. Yeah. Don't say what the that. hell is your problem? Yeah, it's awful. <laughs> and that's the reaction I earned, by the way. You don't get to play God and decide what reaction there should be to each of your jokes. <laughs> uh, Johnny, what's new in the Times of Villa? Not the life, just the, the Times. The Times? Yeah. Uh, it's 543. It's kind of darker in New York a lot earlier now because of daylight savings which is interesting grittier yeah it's like a darker yeah. grittier town i know yeah mean. gritty oh, man you know new yeah. york man yeah. i can tell yeah oh uh, yeah it's, welcome it's to new york welcome to new york we've been waiting for you so, um so <laughs> yeah billy you should live in new york because like if you're like at the beginning of where you're gonna decide to live if I could go back and do it over again, I think I would do New York first because eventually you'll yeah. probably have to move to LA. Jeff, you're like 23 years old. I know, but like came here for college and then I'm going to, what, abandon all my close friends who care about me a lot and do things yeah. for me even when they forget my birthday? Was it your birthday recently? No, it was your birthday recently. Recent enough, yeah. Two Three weeks. weeks. Three weeks, Three weeks yeah. Um, aren't you moving to New York in like three days? <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> you just said you're not going to abandon all your friends, and I just remember you are moving in like three days. <laughs> okay, all right. This is that William N. Brick shit. This is that Nicholas style. Yeah. My email, yeah. Yeah. Again, don't dox yourself. I don't, like, they don't know. They don't care. No one's going to email me about this. Now they will. And guess what else? The fucking out of context Twitter thing is probably going to blast your email to not only the Twitter spheres, but deviant art, Johnny style. So, yeah, probably I guess deviant bleep art. it. <laughs> yeah, and also we can bleep. Mir's right. <laughs> no, no. No. I made my bed. I made I my bed. I can't, in good in faith, ask you to delete my email from the show. <laughs> I need to deal with the repercussions here. I need to learn about that. Yeah. There needs yeah. to be consequences to my actions. <laughs> um, I respect that. We talked about this briefly over text, uh, but I've been trying to get wise recently. And that manifests in various modes of communication, not only verbal, but non nonverbal and nonviolent. And uh, I thought Hopefully. that maybe we could just take a couple minutes to be wise. What does that entail? <laughs> That's yeah. not enough of an icebreaker. That's not a leaping off point. Let's Give go to the New York guidance. Times. Let's go to the New York Times and we'll talk about one of these articles. Okay. Uh, House narrowly passes Biden's social safety net and climate bill. Yeah. Let's not no. act like this is progressive legislation. Not this wisdom, is, by the way. Yeah. What's just, that? You're giving us knowledge, I guess, but it's not News. really. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and if you want to reading wax. headlines at us doesn't make news us is smarter. wise. News is wise. <laughs> news is how you get wise because you know the facts, ass. <laughs> I would argue that wisdom is more about uh, the ability to absorb information. It's almost like intelligence versus knowledge. You're just giving us the answers, but you're not really enlightening us. In a way that lets us enjoy the journey, if that makes sense. Okay, right. And riddle me this. My GPA was 4.12 on a 4.33 scale in high school. So What's I'd, a 4.33 scale? That's A+. Plus. So anything like 97 and up was an A+, plus and that gave you a 4.33? Yes. yes. So you got, looks, it's just generally half A pluses and half A's. Correct. Uh, impressive, I got a B plus once. Nice. Still not wisdom, I don't think. 
<laughs> I think you were just good at taking tests or something. Yes, and that's what I was bringing it up to say, is that knowing just the answers is wisdom and vice versa. Right. The fact that you think that is not wise. <laughs> yeah, the exact opposite. <laughs> I'll walk beside it. I don't know why you guys always ask, wait for me to fucking facilitate joy. I'm wondering if you guys bring your own shit in, right? Last week, Johnny came really prepared. I'm not saying segments this year. I'm just saying not this week, but I'm saying contribute to the conversation. Don't wait for me to kind of quarterback it because major key alert. <laughs> major key alert. Do you have one? No, it sounded like he just fucking said one. Don't facilitate. No, what was it, it wasn't. A, no, it wasn't a major key alert. It was a minor note alert. It was a major bag alert. <laughs> nice. Did you read the receipt of the food I sent no, you No, I did not read the receipt. You know why? Because it was covered with fucking ants and a squirrel or raccoon got to it. There was debris all over my front porch. So I didn't read the receipt. I didn't get the joke because you sent it to me. Nobody touched the food. $40 worth of fast food chicken and fries. Delivered to my door. Left for animals to have. I couldn't even enjoy it. I would have liked to eat chicken, but Jeff doesn't tell me that it's coming. He just <laughs> orders it. It stays on my front porch. And the joke is that I find it a day or two later. I have to clean it up because, of course, there's fucking sauce and fries all over my front yard. And then I throw it away. And then I text Je Jeff. Nice. You got me. Animals ate $40 worth of food that you sent me and didn't tell me about. And he goes, major bag alert. Did you read the receipt? <laughs> no, I didn't read the receipt. Just text me a fucking joke. You don't have to spend $40 to write it on a card that someone delivers to me and I never read. What was the receipt? Major bag alert. <laughs> <laughs> it was um so you know how postmates sometimes does like um branded deals for like tv shows or major media personalities okay no but <laughs> sure like the travis scott burger or something it was uh so dj khaled has a has a postmates partnership right now and it's another wing and so I got you the ma major bag alert, which is, uh, <laughs> let me just, I, I really want to cite my sources here. So why don't um, you tell me that it was coming? I thought they were going to knock on your door. And then you thought I got it and ate it and didn't tell you anything. Uh, no, when I didn't hear from you, I assumed it was at your door. And then I didn't text you. Major bag alert. 30 piece classic boneless wings with choice of two flavors, regular fries and dips. Wasted. And yeah. I did it with, I got the, um, you loyal lemon pepper sauce and the, they don't want you to win truffle Nice. So just take a buffalo. screen grab of that and send it to me. You don't have to actually <laughs> order it. Have people prepare and drive it over for absolutely nothing. Did you tip the driver, Jeff? Uh, I, yeah, I tipped him 15%. Nice. Nice. Yeah. You um, got it. told him to keep the food. Wouldn't yes. have gone to waste. Yeah, yeah. that would have been great. Absolutely. Like a really nice just leave thing, the card. Yeah, yeah. but then we wouldn't have had this conversation. Let me see if I can. He pull would up have the had photo. another. He would have been like, someone gave me a, the major bag alert at at work. I was having a tough day. It was a yeah. long day, mm -hmm. and my air conditioning wasn't working in my car. And then I just got this amazing um, notification that said I could keep the food. Mm. It would have been great. Yeah, it would have been much better than this. This is like a tenth, not even. This is like a twenty-fifth of the of the of the podcast. This is what I saw the next morning at nine a.m. after walking my dog. <laughs> I just want to mention that th some of their other sauces were suffering from success, sweet sesame teriyaki. I ain't regular ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I can't be held accountable. <laughs> it's your doing. You did this. You admitted guilt. Jeff is just admitting a different problem that he has unrelated to this. <laughs> I'm incapable of being held accountable for shit. Um, no, but it is time for uh, a seminal segment that we've been doing every week, Billy. It's, uh, it's, bit, sorry.
Okay. So yeah, you caused yeah, that. You so. could have just turned that off at any time. Wasting precious time. Yeah. Or not pressed it. <laughs> Bond of the week. James or okay. Street, the sushi place in New York. No, James Bond. Every week uh, until the next James Bond is cast, we're going to lob up our casting options for the next James. Um, this week, I'd like to posit Bill Nye. Why? Too old. Yeah. Because then the movie could be called Golden Nye. No, Wh- they're not going to parody their own name. <laughs> <laughs> Golden Nye 007. Yeah, they're going to put the actor's name in the title for a pun. Is there any precedent for that? <laughs> there is none, but you know what? There's no precedent for Pierce Brosnan. <laughs> he was Irish. He was absolutely Irish. And now he's trying to sell a beach house mansion in Malibu for $100 million? I don't know. Isn't there something with watches and bonds? You're into watches. Is there like a James Bond watch connection? Yeah. So the earlier movies, it was Rolex would supp- supply the watches. So that's part of how the Submariner got uh, I became iconic. Uh, and then eventually the partnership changed to Omega, which is huge for Omega because they're a um, less beloved brand. But every time a new Bond movie comes out, they release a watch that's in the movie and you can buy it limited edition. Um, and people liked the Seamaster that they released for this one. What is it? No Time to Die? Uh, but it's not my favorite. The loom hey. plots are, it's it's faux patinaed, which is uh, Screw you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> it's basically like this. Yeah. Kind of no, no, we get it. oversized. Isn't that a bolt? Shut up. <laughs> I didn't want to bolt, so I thought I'd screw you instead. Are you nuts? <laughs> oh, that's good. That's a great That's really one. good. Yeah. Uh, we do have to take a break. Uh, I wish we could ride that like adrenaline and momentum comedy wise, but we do have to take a break and thank some sponsors. Thank you to Beam for sponsoring this episode of our show. Guys, get ready for the ultimate cozy winter night in brought to you by Beam. Beam is a functional wellness brand that makes CBD products to help you pursue your better and push the boundaries of what's possible. For a limited time only, Beam's best-selling sleep product, Dream Powder Hot Cocoa, now comes in delicious white chocolate peppermint. So get ready. Swirls of peppermint mixed with creamy white chocolate for the guilt-free hot cocoa of your holiday dreams. It's the perfect winter wind-down for those cold, snowy nights. It's triple lab-tested and contains... The ultimate sleep-promoting ingredients, nano-CBD, reishi, magnesium, L-theanine, and melatonin, with no sugar added and no artificial sweeteners. Guys, again, I take these supplements already, not all of them, but some of them, magnesium, L-theanine, melatonin, and uh, they're, they work like gangbusters, so to have all of that in a hot cocoa, I can't wait to try this. I mean, Beam's... What are we waiting on, brother? I need to get some of this hot cocoa, this some of this dream powder, as they say. People absolutely love dream powder. In the reviews, Jennifer M. wrote, I've suffered from insomnia for years. I've tried just about every supplement on the market, and this is by far the most effective. I'm very grateful for it. I fall asleep quickly and sleep deeper and longer. Thank you, Beam. Melanie wrote, this stuff is legit. I'm a gym rat who just turned 50 and has sleep issues. I take this at 10 p.m. and sleep from 11 to 6. And the best part is that I wake up feeling refreshed and ready to hit the gym. The white chocolate peppermint dream powder only lasts for a limited time. So get it while it's hot, pun intended. And great news. If you subscribe now, you can also take advantage of Beam's best sale of the year for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. You'll get 40% off the first three months of a peppermint dream subscription plus a free mug and frother. Or... 20% off a one-time purchase. So again, this is Beam's biggest offer of the year. And just like this new flavor, it won't last long. So head to beamorganics.com slash headgum. That's beam, B-E-A-M, organics.com slash headgum, H-E-A-D-G-U-M, for 40% off the first three months of a subscription, plus free mug and frother, or 20% off a one-time purchase. 
Plus, you can pause or cancel at any time. So thanks, Beam. Check that out. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Go to betterhelp.com slash what's that? Listen, guys, life is full of stressors, right? Doesn't matter who you are or what you have. Your life is probably stressful. For me, I find it incredibly difficult to fall asleep, right? And that can't help but manifest in a life full of drowsiness, you know, wandering thoughts, wandering hands. And you may not be feeling down and totally out and depressed or like you're at a total loss. But if your stress is high, your temper is shorter than usual, or even if you start to feel strained in any of your relationships, you could probably use the chance to unload. So unload the stressors and get it out by talking to somebody who's completely unbiased about your life, right? Someone who's gonna, someone who's not going to judge you or take sides on anything. You know, when there's things that you feel like you can't tell anyone, or feel like you can't unload to friends and family, but you need to unload it, that's what therapy can be. So go to betterhelp.com to find customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's also much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can start communicating with your therapist in under 48 hours. So unload the stressors and get some unbiased feedback. You'd be pretty surprised at what you might learn. Uh, The HeadGum Podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and our listeners get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash what's that? Again, that's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash what's that? Thanks, BetterHelp. And we're back. Let's get the energy up. You guys aren't contributing as much as I'd like you to other than Amir. Amir's bringing some energy. I don't know where it's coming from. Hopefully it stays going into his weekend and that this doesn't zap it because he always complains that when he does this show, it kind of sucks your creative energy. You said he didn't know where his energy was coming from. It was coming from a very spiteful and hateful place. He was mad that you uh, delivered food to it, to his door yeah, uh, unannounced and while he was out of yeah. the house. Yeah. yeah, half anger for you and half of this cold brew that I'm quickly finishing, unfortunately. Mm. Billy, did I do something to hurt your feelings? <laughs> you invited me to your um, HeadGum Live show, told me I was on the list, and then I arrived bringing my girlfriend, feeling proud, and uh, I wasn't on the list, and they didn't allow me in. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Should we call Finn and uh, have her him loop in Millie? Okay. No, right? For like a number of reasons, definitely not. <laughs> uh, well, I'll send, you, I'll send you some fast food to make up for it. Don't. Just at don't least let him know that food. it's there. Welcome to Backup Careers. Or nah. No, it's just... <laughs> let me fucking host the show if you're going to give me this platform. <laughs> I like Amir. <laughs> you want me yeah. to fucking change it on the fly to Backup Careers or nah? <laughs> because it could kind of be like, you could have a backup career, or you could pursue what you really wanted all along, which yeah. I think is wise. I lo- that is wise. <laughs> That's very wise of Amir. Yeah. Well, then to I, have well, a backup and choose to not follow it means that you're thinking about it, and it means that you're betting on yourself in such a way that it doesn't matter. You know what the other paths are, but you're just going to stay true to yourself. And in that way, success does. You don't need like financial success or like critical success. Just the fact that you're doing it and pursuing what you really want means that you're being successful. I think that that's much better. What did you say, Jeff? Was it just backup careers? <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. So I don't foolish. like how wise Billy just sounded because it makes me, by comparison, less wise. <laughs> Didn't you want us all to get wise together or something? Wasn't yeah, but let me point? lead the pack. <laughs> Please. <laughs> this is Backup Careers, Kyrie Irving slash Johnny Villa edition. <laughs> Why? Wise. So basically, it's going to be, I'm going to list a couple backup careers, and then you guys guess whether that's one that, or basically, like, tell me whether that's suitable for Kyrie Irving, who clearly doesn't care about basketball anymore, or Johnny Villa, who at a certain point is going to have to kind of get realistic if he wants to have a family. Get realistic? 
<sighs> okay, fine. Why don't we just go ahead? Let's just start. Basketball coach for underserved youths. See, obviously not me. I don't have any basketball experience. <laughs> I'm not even like 5'10". I'm not even close to that, so I don't even know why. You know what? All right, Kyrie Irving, fine. Okay. And do so we have you, to guess as well? Yeah, or everybody has to get their to answers in. Um, There's no right or wrong oh, answer here. Yeah. See, why are you asking then? Fine. The right answer is Kyrie. Yeah. Kyrie Irving. Yeah. Great basketball player. One of the best, most talented basketball players probably of all time. Yeah. yeah. He'd be one a of the best point coach. guards for sure. Yeah. yeah. He'd be a great coach. That and his social wherewithal would be amazing in terms of. Um, his sort of locker kids, yeah. room presence and his locker room presence <laughs> would be so helpful to the youth basketball organization. Yeah. He, he, he yeah. has presence, presence, and prescience. Impressions, you said? <laughs> Prescience. Because he's not getting this, vi- this fucking vaccine because he knows what it's going to do to you. Next guy. Let's go to the next guy. Don't start this. RV campsite Blackwater attendant. And I'm just going <laughs> to skip to saying this is Johnny. Why? What kind of experience do I have with that kind of job? <laughs> Well, the issue is you don't have a lot of experience in general, so it's kind of like you can do anything that can be taught in an afternoon, part of which would be kind of emptying the sewage from um, Winnebago's. I'm realizing now we sort of skipped over Bond of the Week, right? Yeah, like I did said notice Bill that too. Nye, and I had and then, some like crazy cool answer. Okay, then yeah, let's hear you guys' Bond of the Weeks and we'll, as we power through this. All right. Uh, I, my Bond of the Week would have to be... Uh, Someone from BTS, uh, it would have to be Jimin, I think, because that's the only one I know. But that's I think, cool. a, uh, yeah, a BTS person would boost the sales for Bond yeah. uh, exponentially. And also the fact that we're talking about it right now means the BTS army is going to run this podcast up. That's wise. Yeah. No Thank way. you. See, no way. Yeah, we're all getting pretty two, wise, probably except Jeff. But two really no, wise been answers. Wise. I've been wise. <laughs> you haven't, yeah, but yeah, uh, two of us, two or three of us have been pretty wise. Yeah, totally. Billy, what's your bond of the week? Well, I would say we should pick someone that is unexpected. A mm-hmm. lot of people are talking about maybe making Bond a woman, or mm-hmm. maybe casting uh, a black actor. Or some people mm. even talk about Americans. So I think what if we just went against all those conversations and cast a white British male actor like <laughs> Jack O'Connell, who I think kind of has the look for it. And he was in that movie 71 with um, Barry Keegan, who's another actor who I don't think would be right for James Bond. But I just think that it would be surprising and kind of um, ballsy of them to just go and give us exactly what we've had in the past. That's cool. Instead like, of like allowing it to be progressive. Right. Going with the grain is the new against the grain. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That was pretty wise. That's actually really wise. Yeah. Who'd you say, Jeff? That was pretty wise. Who'd you I'll say? I'll that one. I said Bill Nye the science guy. Just in terms of... Um, Yuck. Yeah. Yeah. It's Golden like, Nye. Just like also, he would be the villain at that sucks. point. Too. Why not have him be the villain? He could be Golden Eye, and then he could be playing himself turned evil. Instead, he's playing yeah. James Bond, but the pun is a villain's name and the actor's <laughs> name. It doesn't make any sense at all. There's no way they would do that. Yeah, yeah. I just was thinking in terms of merchandising opportunities. What uh, merchandising opportunities? T-shirts, watches. That just say Golden Eye on Golden it. Golden Eye. This is a sick joke that you have. Yeah. <laughs> Give I it mean, up. The, the other thing would be like posters. Like it's so easy. It kind of the, the slogans write themselves. It could be like the next bond is nigh. Oh my god, I have fucking hives from you. I think. <laughs> Amir, who's your bond of the week? That was a that Billy. That actually is. If they're gonna go white British guy, this is probably the best pick anyone's had the past couple of weeks. Is Jack O'Connell or Bill Nye? Uh, Bill Nye could be awesome, but Jack O'Connell. 
I mean, Amir, who's your Bond of the Week? Let's go with coming off of Space Jam 2. I'd love to see a LeBron James Bond. bond. <laughs> yeah. LeBron Le- James? Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> LeBron, LeBron James. James. <laughs> yeah, he's already tall and hot and like athletic. So like he can do some real cool. And what yeah. if Bond has to dunk a bomb at the end of the game or a chase down LeBlonde's James at the end of the game? <laughs> so it's like a guy putting a bomb in the rim and LeBron fucking. Dun, 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 dun. They use the Mission Impossible theme. Running Mission Impossible the theme? Yeah. <laughs> Swatting it out of the way. Yeah. He just changes to, his number to 007. That's the really Lakers good. Really stop good. him from oh, doing it because they've already sold merchant, all the jerseys. And they just yes. they can't. Yeah. yeah. And then he should in, pitch in the movie, that. I could get on board with LeBron. Yeah. LeBron with James. In the movie, LeBron he'll have like James. a little Livestrong style bracelet and it'll say, just a kid from Pet Bottom. Is that where he's from? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's that it's like the emoji lebron always uses oh yeah the praise hands uh, yeah Sorry, yeah second. that's pretty good i guess we could get is it is it m or q who's like the, the old both lady q's the character. tech guy m's the kind of head of mi6 uh, yeah so q's not the old lady character then I mean, M's not the old lady character. M is it's the Q, old lady. It's M. Sorry. Q is Genie the Bus. Tech guy. Genie no. Bus can be, can be M. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Isn't one of them Fine. from Mission Impossible? M and Q are both Bond. Yes. MI6 is Mission Impossible. Six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> MI6 is what we call Mission Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> That's the um, fucking joke of the episode. You have to start yeah. awarding that shit now. I think LeBond James is the, the joke of the episode. Either yeah. way, Billy's taking on the hardware. I feel yeah. like Amir was was about to say LeBond James though, and I kind of and I kind of stole but it. I didn't, and that means I'm getting a step slow. Thank right. you for um. Do you know that highlight? And I'm sure you do, and I could be wrong. But when they try and get the ball to Kobe at the end of the game, and then Nick Young <laughs> caught it and then shot it and hit the buzzer beater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it went in, right? Yeah, and he and he hit the game winner. <laughs> That's what that was. You were you were setting. You had it. The clock was winding down. You were turning the corner, and getting to your spot, and then I kind of intercepted the pass from my own teammate, and yeah. then <laughs> shot a, a terrible three, and somehow banked it. In. <laughs> History will only remember Nick Young and forget Kobe Bryant, though. I yeah. already don't know who Kobe is. I might. Uh... I'm not going to say it. I had a different segment planned in place of this one that we're still in the middle of. Uh, that was basically about how the Diana <laughs> Princess Diana musical got uh, just absolutely reamed by the New York Times theater critic because as exploitative and bad. And so I was going to say, what I, what else could we ex- what other tragedies could we exploit oh. for money? Um, but it was all too dark. Yeah. Disgusting. Yeah. Um. Let's keep it going here. We'll kind of like. <laughs> Power through the rest of this. Uh, oh, let's get a Please. full ahead here. Power through. Power through. Uh, full-time social activist. I think Kyrie would be good at that. Um, I, I couldn't hear because the yeah. Full-time soundboard. social activist. I think Kyrie would be good at that. Um, wow. Johnny, on the other hand, I think could be a sex worker whose clientele is mostly self-hating Republican homophobes. So, like, you get basically turned inside out by Josh Hawley. And then he'll like go across the street to the Capitol and still pass anti-LGBT legislation. <laughs> turned it sounds ins- awful. Yeah, it turned inside out. <laughs> why? Why that visual? <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you, man? <laughs> turned it. <laughs> Inside out. Turn me Josh inside out. out. <laughs> Turn me out. Uh, I think Johnny could also be good as the last remaining Pony Express cor- courier. So, like, cash him in, like, Eastern Oregon, like, hauling ass on an ass to get, like, one fucking scroll to a librarian in Ashland. I can definitely foresee myself becoming a, becoming that. Yeah. You know how, like, at the end of a high school day, it's, like, 2.43 or something, and, like, the teacher's still talking, and it's, like, I'm just fucking 
seconds away from the weekend and she, the teacher's like actually like let me start this next chapter like that's what this is like the fact that we do this on a friday afternoon is a very specific form of intellectual torture on the guests specifically because people can just listen to it whenever they want the fact that you're like grabbing our ankles as we're trying to like get away from you and enjoy our time on a Friday night. And we have to hear, what was it? Fucking Johnny would be a, a activist or a whatever the hell or Kyrie or like, what yeah. is that? What is that? How did you think of that? Why did you think of that? Kyrie or Johnny? Not only are you grabbing us, grabbing our ankles and trying to, <laughs> every time we're trying to leave, like even, even here, we're having conversations on the side and we're having a little bit of fun and I can feel the energy kind of creeping upwards, but then you kind of chime in and then all of a sudden, yeah, you know, just ruin you're, the entire experience. Yeah. You're poisoning the well. You're souring the dessert. You're <laughs> like, you're allergic to having a good time. And when this show accidentally hits a stride through Literally, despite what you're trying to do, <laughs> you put the kibosh on all of it, like Spider-Man stopping a train. Try as you might, trying to like grind any momentum that we're figuring out to an absolute halt. You suck. I mean, what do you? <laughs> what can I say? I can't be any more plain than that. You're yeah. not. You're not good. And you're not wise. And I think that's the real nail in the coffin. <laughs> Nor do I think he's capable of being wise. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, a lot like now, of, yeah, yeah. yeah, like a lot of people can figure it out or like get to a point where they can set themselves up for wisdom. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeff is a wafer. He's an empty vessel. He's a dry, he's a jicama. Like, what yeah. is that root vegetable on my fucking plate? It's the, it's the clear foamy beige one, right? You are jicama. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, now I'm feeling like the energy creeping yeah, up right? we're kind of bonding over this. <laughs> yeah, like Yeah, it's weird. Like the wisest thing that Jeff could do is just give up on being wise, but he's so incapable of being wise in any way that he'll yes. always be in pursuit of it and he'll never be able to get it. <laughs> exactly. So like he'd find some solace if he just accepted himself as yes. this empty yeah. loser in a losing game <laughs> yes. and just moved on and tried to live in the moment or something, but he's he can't even do that. It's he's like, balsa. Yeah. He's a balsa wood, a hickama man, an empty coffin. <laughs> He's, yeah. <laughs> yeah he's a thin hollowed out vessel of a nothing it's so <laughs> and he doesn't even get it like it's crazy it's so fucked up that's like the fucking that's <laughs> enough that's enough you had your fun you talked about wafers you talked about radishes <laughs> No, I did not. This I is not my show. I didn't say a radish. I'd love think, to eradicate you. See, this is what we're talking about. I take out about. a gun. <laughs> <laughs> and a turnip. Um, <laughs> that was really hurtful. Let's move on. That was easy. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Let's smile, let's get into it again. <laughs> smile. Everybody smile, come on. You guys are undirectable. Don't You're tell a terrible us director. To smile. Yeah. Welcome to Michael or Buster. Keep. What an addition. This is 40 minutes. You're <laughs> <laughs> starting a new segment. By the way, we skipped a segment. There was going to be two more segments after this? Yes. <laughs> Michael or Buster, Keaton edition. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to. 
list some quotes, and you have to attribute them to the right Keaton, Michael or Buster. <laughs> Can you imagine thinking you're going to hear the plug section and then just like, <laughs> now it's time to start playing M Michael or Buster the Keaton edition. This is what I'm talking about, man. A comedian a does funny things. A good comedian does things funny. Diane. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. You got my one trick question slash pony. Here we go. <laughs> I took my play very seriously, and I got way, way lost in my play world. Gotta be Michael. Correct. Batman said that. All my life, I've been happiest when the folks watching me say to each other, look at that poor dope, will ya? Buster. Buster. Correct. <sighs> this yeah. is fun. These are easy so far. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, they say pantomime's a lost art. It's never been a lost art and never will be because it's natural to do. Michael? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Buster Keaton said pantomiming is never a lost art. I'll never. give you that one because he did say it, but in this specific instance, it's actually me quoting him. To this day, I have the most fond memories of some of my old toys. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Guys never really get over their toys. Michael. <laughs> He's obsessed with toys. <laughs> In our family, my brothers and I shared toys. In other <laughs> words, just because it was mine didn't mean my brothers and I didn't play with it together. This definitely sounds... This is typical Michael Keaton. Correct! You know Michael Keaton's real name is Michael Douglas? But he had to I change it. I did know that. Because of Michael Douglas, yeah. Did you know that Albert Brooks' real name is Albert Einstein? That's right. But he had right. to change it because of Albert Einstein? <laughs> <laughs> and now he's more famous than Einstein will ever be. Yeah, exactly. Not really. And his brother is Super Dave Osborne, who recently passed away. Marty yeah. Funkhauser on Curb. Funkhauser, yeah. And together they, they started Brooks Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> and Einstein Brothers Bagel. <laughs> um, that's enough of the goofs, though. Let's get serious here. Uh, plugs. Comedy um, podcast. A lot of these... Uh, oh, that's it? I feel like we're just getting started. I sped through Cutting the Keaton it one. I skipped Us three should you start a podcast. Feel... Yeah. That's really Me, funny. And Amir. Yeah. Wow, the wise what? bros. <laughs> yeah. That's great. The, the vowels. Because we're A-E-I-O-U and sometimes wise. That's really <laughs> good. That's yeah, really that's, funny. I love that. That I would mute listen yourself, to Jeff. On it. Mute yourself, Jeff. I would listen I think, to a uh, guest on it. We're so trying to talk on. right now. I'd the vowels are going to sort of wax for the next few. to be on it a lot. Don't specify how often you want to be on there. Just <laughs> duly noted it's not going to happen. It doesn't have to be every week. but It could be fun if it's like, because like we could sort of play with the fact that like, you know, we're talking about wisdom. Like I'm 38, yeah. but I feel like a 21 year old. Yeah. You guys are like in your early, Jeff, I'm talking, you guys are in your early 20s and maybe you feel more wise. So it's like this like play on like who's teaching who about what we can both like sort of guide each other through like yeah. the different and the different ends of like, you know, being like a classic, like 20 to 40 year old. Yeah, so we can like yeah. learn about pop culture. Like, you know, I can teach mm. you about fucking property taxes and you can teach me about like, you know, in more important shit, like TikTok trends or what <laughs> clothes cool kids are. <laughs> Jeff, stop, please. I didn't say anything. You were laughing. You're giggling was, like yeah, a Your dumbass. laugh is distracting. Yeah. Yeah. It was kind of loud in my ears. Like, I and then we can like chuckling. It yeah, cuts segmented through though. Out. I think it's a good idea. I'm yeah. being positive to you. <laughs> I, okay, like, to, I feel yeah, like you're making me want to yeah. rethink this with your enthusiasm. Jeff. Well, Leo, I, I feel like you're not the target audience. And if now, you're really responding yeah. to it, I feel like maybe we're doing something wrong. Now Billy's starting to second guess the podcast because you kind of. Because I chuckled. Because <laughs> I kind of laughed. Just having you on board. Yeah. I don't know if I want to do it anymore either. Yeah.
<laughs> I thought we you had something how, fun. Yeah, you, you know how like if someone smart is like, oh, you're really smart, like then it like boosts you. But like it means the fact a lot. That, yeah, but the fact that you're like, oh, the, I love this idea. It just yeah. kind of proves that it's a terrible idea. Yeah, like when the biggest yeah. idiot you know is like, wow, you're just like me. <laughs> and you're yeah, like, exactly. oh, no, oh, yeah, I'm doing this is a famous story that when Jeff, I'm talking, so there's this famous story. Real. Jeff, one second. There's yeah. this famous story that when Ben Affleck and Matt Damon were pitching Goodwill Hunting and trying to get um, funding for it, they put in a sex scene between them that was like uh, just like a really, really out of place sex scene, obviously. And then anytime a producer would be like, oh, we love the script, they know that they weren't reading it properly and that they were not the right fit. And then when someone would go, oh, I don't know about this sex scene, they go, OK, you're paying attention. So we could go all four of us to pitch to different places and if they are like, yeah, yeah, it sounds good, then we'll know that they're not the right fit. But if they go, whoa, this Jeff guy doesn't really fit, then we know <laughs> that they really go. get it. That's you know what it. I mean? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. He's like so obviously like a canker sore on the idea that like anybody who's worth a damn will realize that and ask us to take him out. Yeah. Like, exactly. Yeah. First thing. In the know. world of the vowels, Jeff's an F. <laughs> yeah because yeah. he's consonantly like pissing us off <laughs> exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. we should totally have guests on this podcast like the That's three of cool. us yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be really should, dope. yeah. i would yeah. love to be one <laughs> no, i would somebody, love to be one of them. yeah like someone really funny and like smart and wise i think i'm some of those what about riley for the pilot Yo, it's called the riley piley yeah the piley yeah. with riley <laughs> yes. it could be like yeah. the jeff experiment i think i have her phone Oh my God! What about Jeff's roommate George? Nice. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah. No. That, that would be an have, insane yeah. get. Yeah, I don't have George's no. contact information, but I'd probably I could DM ask him on Jeff. Insta. No. Oh yeah, yeah, you, yeah. yeah. I'd probably do that. <laughs> no, George I don't like fucking... any of this. I don't like any of this. <laughs> I guess we could man. get Mr. James in there for like one episode. Oh, Jeff's me? dad. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah that would be fun. Sort of like the wisdom of James. We can call that segment. Oh, exactly. yeah. Jeffrey's yeah. That's dad, what I would want to call a second. Or Jeffrey's mom. Or yeah, there's sometimes. Jeffrey's sister, too. Yeah. She's Everyone yeah, in my yeah. family except me. What? What other guests <laughs> could be Are you still here? That's the question that stumped you? <laughs> <laughs> at Jeffrey James on Instagram, at Jeff Boyardi on Twitter. You guys plug your stuff. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. <laughs> oh, my Sweet. God. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, the vowels yeah. can sort of fucking this scream. Is like, yeah, this Did is like the know? podcast right now. There was like a right. high pitched ringing every time. I guess it, Jeff, now yes. that he's muted, I can't hear it anymore. He gave me yeah. tinnitus. He yeah. gave me tinnitus. Tinnitus tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Joke of the yeah. fucking episode. Like, yeah. It feels like I feel like I had something removed, like a boil from my back. You know what it feels like? Yeah. I can yeah. like stand up. Like when the hangover ends and you're just like. <sighs> Ah, let's fucking party yeah. like that's how i feel yeah. like a like when you go see the hangover and you're just so <laughs> stoked afterwards and you just want to go party that's another great joke that jeff would have stepped he'd been like yeah or like a fucking the time where i gave a bagel to a fucking dwarf and he would be like yeah chuckle chuckle king or something like that and we'd all be like what yeah. the fuck are what you doing fuck? Yeah, like man. that was kind of funny because you can't even do like I even when you're yeah, doing jeff it's funny it. you can't yes. like yeah you can't go down there yeah <laughs> yeah you know how like you were likening being on this podcast with Jeff to like the e like waiting for the end of the school day? Yeah, like, like I watching feel like the this, clock. Yeah, right now it's like it feels like summer. Yeah, it's like exactly. summer. It man. is summer. Yeah. <laughs> when he left, I heard a fucking school bell go off. Yeah. But it was like, yeah, it was almost like a beautiful melody. It wasn't like the. It was almost just like the beautiful tone of his yeah. silence. It was like the, the homework of papers flying down. People throwing their binders up, throwing <laughs> yes. everything schooled out. Yeah. Yes, almost yeah. a graduation. Like it feels like that podcast as we knew it is over, right? And yeah. like, this is sort of like, this is like the Berlin Wall falling down, a new era. Or like the of post, American yeah, history. the post pandemic world. This feels like that, 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 like when you can finally go in public and take that mask off for the first time, that first breath of like, oh, this yeah. is the air that I've been missing out on, not filtered through this dirty <laughs> thing scrunched up in my pocket. Yeah. <laughs> That's Jeffrey's That's, a dirty mask, and his exit yeah, from sure, this podcast yeah. is a booster shot with 100% efficacy. Like, we're yes. ready to party in the street. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready to kiss a fucking sailor in Times Square because he's finally gone. <laughs> great. Um, All right. Yeah. Plugs. Yeah. You know, TikTok, this is great. Uh, Insta. You can... 
<laughs> hey man. <laughs> yes. Okay, he's gone. Yeah. Thank uh, God. Yeah. I'm there just. We go. Uh, yeah, I'm on all the socials. Search me there. Uh, okay, Bloomer on TikTok. Trying to like get back in there. Like trying to get the creative juices flowing again. It's been a while, but I think I'm ready to. I think I'm ready to be funny again. I, don't I think know. so. Too. I feel like that. I got yeah. that sense from you. Not that you weren't being funny before, but there was no, something just, holding you back. It and felt now it's like, like I was on a treadmill where, like, every time I would take like rest, it would like push me back. Jeff was sort yeah. of like this wind <laughs> in my face. And I'm. Uh, like, I'm also. Sorry, you. I think cut out. I hate I to interrupt you. Um, no, yeah, but, go for yeah. it. Just because we're in Jeff's Zoom, still, that my connection's a little bit off. Yeah, <laughs> he's sort of like yeah, he's ruining the bandwidth for I think. <laughs> My internet's slower now because yeah. of him. I'm, uh, I have a, a small part in the Ghostbusters movie that just came out as Holy we're recording shit. it today. So yeah, if dude. you guys want to check that out. Um, That's amazing. I wonder, yeah. I wonder if, it doesn't make sense, but like, I feel like if Jeff were here, that scene would be cut. Like, I, yeah, yeah. I, I think so too. It doesn't, it doesn't like, make there's no sense. reason. And yet I, I understand exactly how, <laughs> what that means. Like right. it's one of those things that it's like a weird feeling like deja vu where you can't really explain it, but you know, right. it's like there. <laughs> yeah. We're all yeah. feeling like he would somehow bend time space in a way to make it retroactively gone or something. like in that. In a weird way. I feel like if I had never met Jeff, I would be on the posters for Ghostbusters. <laughs> I feel like yes. I'd be the lead. Yes. But yeah. that's neither here nor there. I'm over it now. We've moved <laughs> yeah. past it and, and moving forward. I think it's going to open up a lot of new opportunities for me. That's cool. Yeah. Dude, that's so exciting. Yeah. Johnny? Nice. Uh, yeah. So you can follow me on Instagram at Johnny V, J O H N N Y V I I. And uh, you can also follow me on TikTok too uh, at Hey J Ville. Hey J Ville. V I L L. Classic. Yeah, classic. Yeah, I have a feeling you're going to get a lot more followers. Yeah. I don't know. There's just something. I'm, you're going to go, yes. go Johnny. You're going to go V-I-I-R-A-L, I think. <laughs> oh, nice. that's really yeah. funny. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah. It's, <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Did you guys hear that? No, I just felt like a Sorry. shiver down my spine. <laughs> what was that? I keep hearing it. Sorry. Yeah. Some demented voice in my cans. Just trying to. Uh, okay. Not, not I, I demented. Think, I think it's gone. <laughs> the fuck? I'm hearing it again. Um, Normal voice. It's, yeah. I, I, I don't gone. feel. I don't he's feel, muted. Okay. Oh, okay. He's muted. Uh, all right. Sweet. Um, another great episode. Well, yeah. <laughs> another probably quarter of a great episode and yeah. you know, thank you to anybody that survived the first fucking 25 miles of that slog um because the last mile was worth it i feel like i have a yeah. runner's high <laughs> from finishing runner's this wise <laughs> really good <laughs> uh all right see uh right. see you next week everybody goodbye right. everybody the vowels <laughs> together everybody oh, oh fuck me what? my weekend's right. done <laughs>